I'm here in Southsea, right on the seafront, for the annual remembrance of D-Day. Of course, this year it's even more special because it is the 80th anniversary. service of humanity, especially this day, those who gave their lives on the beaches of Normandy and in the campaign that followed. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old, we will remember them. I think what has been clear through following all the coverage is that the one loud voice, the one important voice that has come through, that is the voices of the veterans who served 80 years ago. And it's because of their heroic deeds that we are able to enjoy the freedoms that we now have, the peace, the things that we hold dear and too often take for granted. Those things come at a cost but come thanks to those heroic acts through those deeds on the beaches of Normandy and in the campaign that followed. The other common theme is each person saying, I did my part. I did what I had to do. And it's only when each and every person did their part, whatever rank, whatever role, whatever place, they each did their part, which accumulated into the campaign and to its eventual victorious outcome. There is an importance in recognising that we all need and rely upon each other, that we need to value each other and to find our own way of discerning what it is that we are called to be and do to enable us to continue to build that better world. But the other voice that comes clearly through what we have heard is the call to learn from the past so that we may live in peace. To learn of both the heroism but also the horrors. To remember the cost and the sacrifices made. And to commit ourselves to in future seek the ways of peace. <laughs>
After the ceremony, I had the privilege to sit down with Eric Bateman, a 98-year-old D-Day veteran who was aboard HMS Erebus as she sailed to France on D-Day 80 years ago. He also shared with me what it was like to be on stage for the commemorations and a worldwide TV audience. wonderful to see you on the big screen on South Sea Common for such a major uh, TV presentation. I, I met the King and Queen and also the Prime Minister and Prince William, would you believe? They come along and they spoke to us. I'm nobody, I, I can't understand. Well, you are somebody, that's why we're all here and this is what makes it real for us. I, I can't believe it. <laughs> Weymouth, we come down from Scotland as we've done our trials up there. My duty at the time was to just fly a shell, 15 inch shells, up into the uh, turret of the 15 inch guns. There's only the two on them on the rivers. And uh, that was my job for that particular day. It was incredible to meet a D Day veteran 80 years on, bringing World War II alive and what it means for us today. What did he say to King Charles, by the way? You should at your age be retired, but unfortunately, I said, you're working more than you ever did. He said, yes, I know, but unfortunately, yes. that's the way it goes. Thank well, you very much. You're very well. Thank you.